Hi, I'm Shelley Jones. Welcome to Learning Math with Dr. Jones. Our Facebook group will post a daily math lesson Monday through Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time throughout the month of August. Good morning, I'm Dr. Shelley Jones from Central Connecticut State University, and I'm working in the Math Foundations book in, section, in Unit 3.1. And on page 97, I'll be talking about um, exponential expansion uh, with variables. Okay, so this time, uh, a, a little while ago, we did a session on um, exponents, but we had numbers. And so we're used to thinking about, you know, three squared is nine. What about when we have variables? So we're going to look at variables. All right. So I'm going to go through the examples with you, and then I'm going to have you try some of these. Okay. And so in this case, example one says, if I have a base B squared or B to the second power, all of that raised to the third power. Well, let's see. I would write that as B squared times B squared times b squared, right? I said, it says, I want everything in that parenthesis and I want it three times. So b squared times b squared times b squared. Now, of course, I could even write b squared as b times b, b times b, b times b. I could keep writing that out. But in essence, what's gonna happen is I have uh, two here, two here, and two here, two, four, six, so all together, I have b to the 6, okay? So b squared, I could write that as b times b, b times b, b times b. Now, I'm only expanding it so you can see where we get the b to the 6 from so that if you ever forget the rule of the exponent, and I'm going to ask you about the rules in a little while, if you forget the rules, then you still have, uh, you can expand it and you can figure it out. So that is equal to b to the six. Okay, so let's try another one. A to the third times a to the negative four. Well, we just learned that when we have a negative exponent, we're gonna have the reciprocal of that. So we're gonna have one over a to the fourth. So this is like saying a to the third times one over a to the fourth. If I were to expand that like it asked me to do. Now, you, you're not gonna have to expand this when you do solving equations. We're expanding it so that you can see the why. You can see where the rules come from. We haven't gotten to the rules yet. So I have a to the third times one over a to the fourth, and I can write that as a times a times a times one over a times one over a times one over a times one over a. But I can eat, I can end up simplifying that. So I have a lot of expansion going on here. Well, remember, an a is just like a over one, right? And when we multiply uh, when we multiply with fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. So I'm just going to put a 1 under the A just for a minute so that you can see. Basically, I say, I'm saying A times A times A times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Well, I end up with A times A times A. And at the bottom, I have 1 times 1 times 1 times A times A times A times A. So I end up with four A's. Okay, so I'm going to move out the way for a second. And with all of that, I know that A over A equals 1, right? A divided by A is 1. So we could say that part cancels out, or we can just say 1 times 1 is 1, and so forth. So basically, I have these A's that cancel. A over A is 1. I have A over A is 1. And I have A over A is 1. And I don't know if you can see it. I have no more A's left um, in the numerator, right? But those were all ones, right? A over A is one. One times one is one. 
So I actually still have a one there. So I'm left with a one in the numerator and A in the denominator. So I end up simplifying it to one over A. Although that was long and drawn out, what I'm hoping that we can get from that is, what is the rule for when I have something like A to the third times A to the negative fourth? And because we have variables, it's easier to figure out a rule. Okay, so let's try this one. B to the second times B uh, to the negative three. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have, this is the same as a B times B and B to the negative one, B to the negative three is one over B to the third. So I'm gonna write that out, one over B to the third. Okay, so let's see, what can I do now? I can, I can expand that out a bit and I can see, let's see, I have equals B times B over one over B times one over B times one over B. That makes sense, right? B to the third is B times B times B. So one over B, times one over B times one over B. Now, the problem is if I have a, a numerator divided by another fraction, I could actually flip, I could actually take the reciprocal of the one over B to make that B over one, right? So instead of dividing by, I can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna end up with, uh, maybe I should write it down here. Let's see, B times B, times, now look at this, Time, divide by one over B is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal B over one, times B over one, times B over one, times B over one. I don't need those over ones. B over one is just B, okay? And let me just, show that this all goes together. Okay, that's all example two. Okay, so you see what happened there? When I had divide by a one over B, it's like multiplying times B. And so I end up with how many Bs? One, two, three, four, five. So I have that is equal to B to the fifth. So all of this, ended up being b to the fifth. Now, of course, I could have just said b, b squared divided by b to the negative third is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal up front. But I wanted to show you, if I write it all out, this is, as a, this is a more simplified version of this. Okay? Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Jones. I'm excited to announce the one-year anniversary of my best-selling book, Women Who Count, honoring African-American women mathematicians. Meet me on Sunday, September 13th at 2 p.m. to celebrate Women Who Count because representation matters. Stay tuned for a special panel discussion with mathematicians featured in the book, giveaways including a Katherine Johnson t-shirt, and activities from the book. Please register on Eventbrite for Women Who Counts One Year Celebration.